So today I uh, will be discussing uh, some results uh, related to uh, homotopy of maps. So first result that we'll discuss is uh, uh, following theorem. Homotopy uh, related to x prime is an equivalence relation and relation is an equivalence relation in the set of maps from x a to y b proof so first uh, we will uh, show uh, that uh, the relation is reflexive, then symmetric, and then transitive. Uh, so, uh, reflexivity. CVT. Uh, for uh, any map uh, f from x a to y b uh, define uh, a homotopy uh, uh, capital F from F to F self relative to uh, in fact X by F X T equal to F X for every T belonging to I. So this is uh, this is a uh, this capital F is a homotopy from F to F itself uh, uh, relative to capital X so because capital X capital X prime is sub, sub uh, space of capital X so it is of course it will be relative to X prime also so so it means F is related to F is related to uh, so if uh, F is related to F itself, right? Then symmetry. Uh, uh, let uh, F from uh, F naught to F1, the homotopy uh, relative to X prime uh, define uh, F prime from 
จะพ้วนจะนาดบายเอ่อ f ปรายเอ็กซ์ equal to f x one minus t p a r a b l e t in i this is related to x prime right so symmetry also is there right it means what if f is related to g implies g is related to f right uh next uh, we have transitivity so <clears throat> transitivity uh, Yeah. So uh, clearly, uh, this H is a homotopy from F naught to F two related to X prime. Uh, and uh, uh, because this capital H, right, uh, which is from uh, uh, X A. Cross I to Y B. It is continuous. Uh, 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 yeah. So it is a map from here to here. That is, it is continuous function from X to Y and A B because uh, you see. That uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, so H is H from uh, X to Y is from X cross I to Uh, I to Y is continuous on X cross I uh, because uh, this H restricted over. Uh, uh, X cross zero half equal to X 
equal to this uh, uh, this map right so this is uh, why this, uh, this and uh, h restricted over x cos half on are continuous and they agree uh, uh, on x cross half <clears throat> why these these are continuous so domain of capital h is x cross i right and uh, when you consider h as a function of course uh, then its domain is x cross i so we have divided its domain in two parts x cross this and x cross this so this is continuous this is continuous and they are uh, and they agree uh, uh, over this so this capital h is going to be continuous by using a gluing lemma pasting lemma in topology you might have uh, discussed and um, seen that uh, so what is this why this is continuous because this is basically uh, first one this is this composition of uh, x t goes to x 2 t and then this is uh, uh, f x 2 t right so this is f here so f is of course continuous uh, and this is continuous hence composition is continuous similarly uh, this one uh, this one is uh, composition of uh, so mass x 2t minus 1 and then uh, it goes to uh, uh, g uh, x 2t minus 1 right so g g is continuous this is continuous the composition is continuous so uh, yeah so to, to recall for you that what is gluing lemma it, it says that if y and uh, y is a uh, continuous function uh, from a to y g is a continuous function from b to y and a and b are subspaces of x right and x equal to a union b and f uh, uh, restricted uh, f and g they agree uh, over a intersection b a b are closed and y are restricted over a intersection b equal to g restricted over a intersection d then uh, if you define a map over x by fx equal to uh, yeah so hx equal to fx if x belonging to a and equal to gx if x belonging to b then this hx h map h over x is uh, continuous this was a uh, uh, gluing lemma a uh, uh, pasting lemma uh, from uh, general topology uh, next uh, we discuss another result uh uh that composite of uh, homotopic maps are homotopic but before that uh uh we should uh, uh observe following thing uh that uh, since uh, uh 
uh, homotopy of mass from x a uh, to y b relative to uh, x prime, right? Uh, uh, this uh, relation of homotopy uh, between mass uh, from x a to y b relative to x prime uh, uh, is an equivalence relation. Uh, so uh, uh, the set of all uh, uh, maps uh, from x a to uh, y b uh, uh, is partitioned uh, into disjoint equivalence classes. So set of all maps from x a to y b is partitioned partitioned into uh, equivalence classes equivalence classes by the relation of homotopy uh, relative to x prime. And these equivalence classes are called uh, the equivalence equivalence classes uh, are called these equivalence classes uh, are called uh, homotopy classes of the classes relative to x prime. Uh, we use notation x e b x prime to denote uh, the uh, set of all homotopy topy classes. Uh, for any f from x a to y b we use uh, f prime to denote denote the equivalence class equivalence class yeah. uh, so if uh, we are considering uh, uh, homotopy classes uh, relative to imp, uh, this empty set, right? So in place of x prime, if it is empty set, so then here we will not write anything, right? Similarly, here we will not write anything. Uh, uh, next, we have following uh, theorem. Uh, 
composite composite of homotopic topic uh, maps are homotopic topic so let F naught and F one from X A to Y B uh, be homotopic homotopic uh, relative to X prime and uh, G naught. G1 from YB uh, to uh, ZC uh, be homotopic topic relative to Y prime. Where we assume that uh, for this F1 X prime, that is F naught, which is equal to F naught X prime also, is contained in Y prime. What do you want to show? Uh, we want to show that uh, this uh, uh, <coughs> F naught composed G naught is homotopic to uh, F1 composed G1 uh, relative to X prime. So we want to show this. So this F naught and F1 are homotopic, G naught and G1 are homotopic. So they, we want to show that their composite also is homotopic. That is F naught composed G naught is homotopic to F1 composed G1 relative to X prime. We uh, will show that so that F naught G naught and compose G one from X A to Z C are homotopic topic. Uh, relative to X prime. Let uh, F be homotopy from F naught to F1 relative to X prime and G be homotopy from G naught to G1 relative to uh, Y prime. Uh, now we have so if we consider this map x a cross i to y b cross i to z c Let's consider this one. So this is F is from here to here, and then uh, we'll put just G naught. So this composite, this is a homotopy from uh, uh, 
Uh, yeah. So uh, clearly, uh, uh, the map from here to here, which is composition of this F and G naught. Uh, this is a, this is, is a homotopy, topy, uh, uh, from, uh, uh, F naught, G naught to F1 G naught relative to X prime <coughs> because uh, because F uh, is uh, basically uh, this f from we can consider f from x cross i to y continuous function and then g naught is a continuous function from y to z right so this composition of continuous functions is continuous and you can see that uh, uh, because f uh, uh, yeah so and this homotopy will be related to x prime because this capital f is uh, homotopy uh, uh, relative to uh, x prime uh, so this uh, because you know that g naught f uh, x t uh, uh, will be uh, of course same as uh, g naught uh, f naught equal to g naught uh, F1 for every x in capital X. So this will be relative to x prime. Also, also the Maya. Uh, from x a cross i uh, to uh, f1 uh, cross identity and i to y b uh, cross i and this is j g from z to z c so you see f1 uh, uh, how do you define this one so this given any two maps f from uh, x to y x1 to y1 and uh, f1 from x1 to y1 and f, uh, f2 from x2 to y2, so we can define f1 cross f2 from x1 cross x2 to y1 cross y2. How will you define this f1 cross f2 applied over x1 comma x2 equal to f1 x1 comma f2 x2. So this will be continuous. This will be continuous. So f1 cross uh, i uh, this identity map, this is identity map on this closed interval uh, i. Uh, so this will be a map from here to here. Uh, and g is a map from here to here. So composition will be a map from here to here. Uh, basically, that composition will be a continuous function uh, from x cross i to z. So this uh, uh, is a homotopy topy 
from this F1 uh, compose G0 to F1 compose G1 relative to uh, F1 inverse Y prime. So let us see just how it is. Uh, so whatever T you choose. So if you take a point here, F1 uh, cross I1, uh, uh, if you apply over some point X T, then it takes to uh, F1 uh, X comma T because identity takes T to T. And then when you apply uh, this G over this, what will you get? Uh, you will have uh, uh, yeah. G of F1 X comma T, right? So of course, this is a continuous, this is a map from here to here. And when, when T equal to zero, then here we will have zero. And this will be uh, basically uh, uh, this uh, uh, G naught F1 X, right? If T equal to zero, and if uh, T equal to one, then G applied over this will be what? Uh, that will be uh, uh, G1 compose F naught X, X, right? So basically, this is a homotopy from uh, F1 compose G0 to uh, F1 compose G1. And it is uh, because this capital G is relative to uh, uh, Y prime. So uh, uh, this one will be relative to, uh, so we'll see. Uh, yeah, so. Because throughout this F1 is uh, same, right? So here, whatever value of T you choose, uh, this F1 X is same, right? If you don't change X, this F1 X will be same. Uh, so basically, uh, uh, this will be relative to uh, F1 inverse Y prime. And since uh, since uh, X prime is contained in F, in, uh, uh, F inverse uh, Y prime, that is F X, uh, F1 X is contained in uh, Y prime, that is uh, X, X prime is contained in F inverse Y prime, uh, this uh, Uh, what we have uh, this from here what we have this f1 compose g0 is homotopic to f1 compose g1 right already what we had uh, already we have uh, f0 compose g0 is homotopic is homotopic to uh, F1 compose G0. So F0 compose G0 is homotopic to F1 compose G0, and F1 compose G0 is homotopic to F1 compose G1. Hence, we conclude that. Hence, we conclude. And this is this homotopy. This is uh, so this is homotopy uh, uh, relative to X prime. Basically, this is homotopic to this relative to this, uh, this uh, F1 inverse Y prime, but X prime is contained in this. So this is homotopic to this relative to X prime also. This is homotopic to this relative to uh, X prime. Hence, from our previous results, uh, uh, we have uh, this that uh, we conclude that uh, uh, 
f not compose g not is homotopic to f1 compose g1 relative to f prime so this completes the proof of this theorem so we stop here